the hello people it's the biggest version of the internet today i want to start a series about explaining the most basic aspects of the game and this video is simply gonna improve your pistol game right after you watch it i'm gonna be giving tips that will help you to instantly stop making mistakes and they will help you to become a better pistol player overall i would really appreciate if you leave a like on this video thanks a lot and let's begin you know, there is a dog and there is your mother. Sometimes your mother asks me for food because she's incredibly fat and that's actually disgusting. But me being a 20 year old virgin, I only found one way to get paid. Of course I went to CSGO roll and won my first Lamborghini. Then I was like, yo this video gaming website is fire and then I bought my first Bugatti. But I'm still a virgin. Anyway, you can deposit with real money, cryptocurrency and also sometimes with your family members. I mean that's what I did at least. Oh, and also CSGO and Dota 2 skins, yeah, them as well. You can open free cases for free and help me to feed your mother with some hamburgers by using the code HIKES on the website, and then your mother will stay alive. Terms and conditions may apply. The website has a lot of game modes. You can unbox free cases every single day, play roulette, crash that sometimes goes at insane numbers, or just also open high tier or low tier cases. CSGO roll. Rolls better than your fat mother on the ground. <laughs> The reason why I decided to start this series with pistol rounds is very simple. The first thing that you meet when you're in a competitive game is a pistol round. And many people don't pay attention to pistols, but in my opinion this round is one of the most important ones in the entire game, because after winning the pistol round, you can guarantee to get one or two more rounds, depends on if your opponents decide to force buy or do economical. I have a few high elo friends who think that pistol rounds don't require any skill and it's based on luck, but I personally think that pistol pistol rounds are based on pure aim, movement and placement. In fact, pistol rounds are the most simple rounds in the game because there is barely any utility, there are no opes that will one shot you and everyone starts with the same amount of money. So basically everyone is equal on pistol rounds, but there are a lot of things that you can do to start dominating on your opponents with pistols. And my first tip would be to prepare yourself mentally that pistol rounds are important, because a round is a round and if you're gonna be 100% concentrated towards winning it, in result you will have one more round that brings you closer to victory. My next tips are gonna be for specific sides, because each T and CT sides are different when it comes to advantages that you can use to win the pistol around. Starting with CT, my first tip is gonna be to avoid close range combat. Since there are no head armor on pistol rounds and CTs start with either USP or P2K, that one shot in head, I would recommend you to play it as your advantage, because your opponents only have glocks that don't one shot in the head, so prioritize longer distance combat because you will have a higher chance to kill your enemy. My next tip for CTs is gonna be playing smart on pistol rounds, but what does it actually mean? Well pistol round strats as T are usually very simple, for example on Mirage it's easy either contact B through apartments or A execute with pushing CT from palace. So by having this knowledge you can tell your team to play 3 B, 2 on site and 1 on short and 2 CT, so by playing like that you counter both of your opponents most casual strats and you can do that on any map, it's all about communication with your team. Now my next tip for CT side is simply gonna be to always have one defuse kit for the team, since your opponents are in numerical advantage when they go out on site, there is a big chance that they will plant a bomb, and while retaking, if you bought a kit and a smoke, in the beginning of the round the chances of winning are way higher because you could simply try to do a ninja defuse. Moving forward we have the last tip for CT side and it is using utility on pistol round. If you're holding sites like B on Inferno, B on Mirage, Monster on Overpass or B site on Dust 2, buying a smoke and grenade will do an incredible amount of impact. A simple smoke might stop a 5 man rush and even if it wouldn't, it will be easier for you to kill your opponents that go out through the smoke, and one nade against a rush will leave all of your opponents with low health, so it will be easier for you to kill them, and even if you don't kill them, your teammates who will retake the site will have to do way easier job. 
And here we are switching to the T side. When it comes to T pissed around, my number one tip is gonna be to use the fact that your opponents are outnumbered and think a little bit where it's gonna be easier for you to go and which side does usually have less people holding. For example, on overpass there is usually 4 people on B pissed around and one guy goes mid with the best spawn to collect the info. So if you decide to go mid, it will be a 5v1 and you can sort that into your advantage for sure. The next Next tip that could help you to win more rounds as T is to buy a strong pistol for your teammate who has a good game. For example, you could buy a tech 9, drop it to your top fragger and buy one smoke to make site execution easier. Or you could ask your teammate to buy you a tech 9, which is, let's be honest, never gonna work, but worth the try. Moving forward, my next tip for T side is gonna be for players who go out first. Since your opponents have USP or P2000, they would 100% try to aim for the head, which makes it reasonable to make it harder for them by jumping out. Because when you do that, you break their crosshair placement. They are trying to hit you in the head in midair. While they are trying to do that, they will get instantly traded by your teammates who go after you. As you can see, I didn't include any aim routines and didn't mention anything about aiming, but those tips will immediately help you to improve your pistol game, so make sure to use them and it will help 100%. I really appreciate you watching, it would mean a world to me if you leave a like on this video and comment down below what else do you want me to break down. Thanks a lot, Virgin Lord out.